What's good on YouTube? Hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to the next episode of our educational Division 10 to Elite Division guide. Today, we are jumping into some more gameplay and specifically talking to you about how you can have your ball retention much better. If you are sick of players finding their ways of just tackling you from behind, snipping in and getting that ball. We had this comment uh, from Mikel Arallo. He says he's playing in Division 4. He can't understand why opponents can so easily tackle him even from behind. And he's always struggling to tackle them even using L1 circle. Uh, I hope you mean R1 circle there. It's R1 circle to do the strong power tackle, not L1 circle. Either way, though, that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video in Division 7 with obviously this new team that we've started on this account. So hope you enjoy it. If you do, do me a favor, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and a massive thank you as well to JJ, uh, who has been donating to this series as well. Massively appreciate that support extra from you, mate. That is very, very kind of you. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the episode. All right, here we are, jumping in to the first game. Opponent's team looking very nice. As I said in the intro, we are going to mainly be focusing on here how we tend to essentially avoid tackles obviously one of the comments was that they find that they are constantly getting caught on the ball people tackling from behind spam tackling you know pressing that b button all the time um so what we're going to focus on to basically avoid people tackling you left right and center is the way that you take the touch to start off with so one of the bits of advice i always give is to take the touch away from where the opponent is. I love that through ball. Uh, Raspadori, got Lewandowski there. Go for the finesse. And I could block that every day. So we want to take the touch away from the opponent. So many people try to turn in towards the defensive line or the midfield line. And what that does is basically opens up a little window where the opponent obviously can take the ball off you. So you're going to notice here, I want you to really pay attention to where I take my touches. I can take the touch forward here because there's no one there. I'll take the touch forward here because there's no one there. I'm just going to control the sprint. Uh, look for that through ball. I uh, probably should have played that over the top, actually. I'll take the touch upwards. Notice how I didn't turn in with uh, Lewandowski there. I actually took the touch slightly away. I can obviously go forward with Balde. Uh, play that up there. I'll turn inwards and then come back. Look for the feet. Griezmann. Can I find Lewin uh, Silver, actually? Sorry, I thought it was Lewandowski. Good feet, good goal. And is he out of here? He is. Wow. What a nice little way to start off the episode. A quick win. And that actually puts us, I believe, onto that next checkpoint. So we're past the halfway. So we are two wins away from Division 6. So as we load into the next one, what do I basically want you to do to avoid you getting caught on the ball? Let's say, for example, you're laying the ball from the centre mid into the striker. Now, just have a little think about that scenario. You've got the defence line obviously you know to the left of you the midfield there where would you take the touch one of the easiest ways that you can take the touch and i think it's a very cookie cutter sort of like thing you know I, it obviously isn't an approach we go for every time we take the ball but you take the touch the way the passes came so you almost take one touch back look at how the opponent defends then you can turn and face up right so let's showcase that to you here in this game and that will give you a little bit of an idea on how we can do it so obviously here i can take the touch forward uh don't actually have a pass on there in the middle because the team's taking the wall uh go there so i can take the touch upwards and away protecting the ball what i'm trying to do is basically have it so that my player is in between the ball and the on running defender you see how there i turn and like keep the ball away from him here i'll go downwards keeping the ball away Raspadori on the finesse. A lovely little finish. Let's go. That then means that if the opponent is going to come through and tackle you. Now, this isn't, you know, again, going to work every time. But if they come through to tackle you, they're going to have to go through the player first, which normally then results in a goal. And yes, I completely understand that isn't the case all the time. You know, there are some where like the referee just doesn't give it. But that, that is what it is. You know, here, I take the touch backwards. Then I look at it here i take the touch away little ball roll to be able to do that uh i can play that ball there i can go forward there because there's no players figure l1 oh try to get uh, into that strike there so he takes that touch back into basically where i had my defender and my midfield i can take the touch forward here tap l1 send griezmann i lay the ball into that middle just gets cut out by cullen unfortunately uh see if i can win that i'll do ah try to get it into Lewandowski. i get back here i think Yep, that's good enough. Use second man press, track that run. Use second man press again. He runs straight into me. 
Uh, double tap and hold R1 to get that partial team pressure. That is a great ball. Wow. Wow, I like that a lot, you know. Van Percy, I like that card. That card is very, very good. Very good. I will right, drive in towards the uh, line here, using a quick step over. Use that. I will look for a player lock. We're allowed to in this episode. Take the switch backwards. Take the switch there. Uh, go forward into Griezmann. Ooh. So like there, that was where I tried to be a bit quicker and I actually took the touch forward and I basically allowed you know myself to get tackled because I essentially put the ball in between in between me and the opponent. You know, I didn't have anything else in the way and that's where it's going to cause a problem. It's going to be careful that cross. We obviously saw him go black cross in that, uh, that first goal that he got. He went for the little dink instead, which was uh, an interesting approach. But nonetheless, we're still here defend this corner um i don't actually win that sorry sorry that went in wow what a header what a header all right we're gonna need to focus in for this little touch upwards uh we'll go up there top of the screen tap l1 i do r1 first to send him on a run uh this is ropey yeah so like there i take the touch basically into trouble because i'm gonna go into the middle and it's just clamped there so much uh, i can go there i look for a quick give and go uh, ball roll. I'll go Lewandowski then to Raspadori, maybe. Actually, I'll look for the finesse. Ah, not bad. I tried to see if I could just, you know, open up a bit of a, a bit of a window there to look for that. That's really bad from you because now I've got the runner. I will fake the player lock. Hit it across goal or just completely, completely bottle it. But either way, we get the finish. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I messed up a little bit there. So I, I player locked and then obviously went upwards to say like that's where i'm going to pass it and then i cancelled the player lock with the left stick and the right stick and the opponent you know didn't like kind of baited it ever so slightly kind of fell for the bait and then drove he did actually go for some goalkeeper movement i think from that goal which was a, a unique one it, it's hard because I, I haven't obviously played at these levels like at all really obviously when the game comes out you know everyone's making their way up the divisions like i don't actually know the quality of like a division seven division six player because obviously i don't, I don't play here so it's hard to know. Are they going to move the goalkeeper? Are they going to fall for the bait? You know, what are they going to do? Like, it is actually a little bit a little bit of an eye-opener for me. I'll take the switch here and away. You see how I don't go into the middle? I kept it away. Uh, Raspadori can go. I'll look for that finish across goal. Green time. Beautiful. Again, where did that come from? Griezmann. How did I take the switch? Just go and look at it. I'm tr Basically, what I'm trying to think about is where does the opponent think I'm going to take the touch here? And take it away. You're not always going to, you know, keep the ball. Sometimes they are obviously going to read you. Sometimes you're going to play a pass where it's like you should never have probably played that in the first place. You know, there's so many different things. I look for a finesse. Good green as well, but second man press there, cover that ball in the middle. Okay, so now I want to grab my centre mid because my left centre mid and right centre mid were just caught up ever so slightly. Van Dijk, very good. I took that touch down and away, but uh, he still manages to get something. Like you know. He Risa was there. He managed to win the ball. Take the switch up and away. Then I'll go down into there. Probably look for Griezmann here. He does actually read it. So I'm going to go back into Lewandowski. Then into there. Then into there. Then into there. Little fake shot. Good, uh, good tackle from Van Dijk. I'm just going to chill here. Use second man press. Track that runner. Right six switch into that. I don't really think it's a threat anymore. So I can switch off it. Go to there. Uh, take the switch down and away. Trigger L1. Send Griezmann. Little ball roll to avoid the challenge. Tap L1 to send Lewandowski again. Uh, fake the player lot. Little ball around the corner. And then I'll ask for that. Uh, I got sold a little bit there. We spoke about in the last episode about how I probably use player locks a little bit too much. Now, that there is where the player lot screwed me. Because essentially what, what happened is Lewandowski took a big touch. Which essentially gave the goalkeeper that little bit of a window to you know, come and claim. Come and do something. So... A bit unfortunate. The player lock is fine there, though. I do think it is the right idea. I'm so fascinated by that cross, you know. Because that is, like, so much towards the byline. that Most of the times there, I'll be looking for an L1 square. But it just goes up and over the keeper. I don't know if you had a better keeper, whether that would work or not. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Maybe something for me to have a little bit of a toy around with. Uh, if you have that player at the back post, you know, to, to look for that. Definitely a uh, food for thought, I would say. And that's something I invite you to do whenever you're playing. Is to always think about how, what did the opponent do there? Do they do something that I don't do? Can I, can I find something there? I don't understand what this person's doing. At all. Can, can we just play the game, please? I'll have sidetrack on that. Keep the high line. 
increase the plays up ball. We've got three. You know he likes to cross, so I have to be careful. Yeah. That's actually funny. I'll talk about that in a sec. Let's just defend this if I can. Yeah, so that I will touch on for you. So you have a little thing. Watch that back if you want. What do you think happened there? What do you think was the, the problem? Something that I would be a little bit like, hmm, it's a little bit hard done by. It's a good ball from Risa to play it into that space. There I took the touch with sprint. Thought I could just run down the line, but I've done that the last few times. He's actually kind of read them pretty well, so definitely my fault. Uh, trigger L1 to send Lewandowski. I'll take a stuck touch with the right stick. Beautiful. I got a little bit bailed there. I actually controlled sprint instead of sprinting because I obviously didn't want to get caught by the goalkeeper in case the goalkeeper came rushing out. Um, but I didn't, I, I didn't green time it. I read it. So this, the, the issue that I had here is, so when we look at this, I always invite you to uh, you know clip this sort of stuff to take a look at as well. He's, he's triggered Prince here, right? You see, you see how I track that and then goes? Now she goes offside just about. I think she might even be onside. I don't know. But he's overpowered it. So it's ended up going to Van Persie, which is not the person that he intended it to. But yeah, it is a, that's just, just a little like gripe of mine. But at the end of the day, it's still bad defending for me. I didn't track that run anywhere near enough or right, I would say. I think the way I jockey and everything is not good. Either way, though, we are still in the game. 4-4, lots of goals. Entertaining, at least. What we like. Let's get it. And this opponent, obviously, is very unique in what they want to do and how they want to do it. Might be the type of game for a uh, a little gritty, you know. I'll tap L1, send uh, Lewandowski into towards that back post. Ah, he doesn't get there. That's a bit sad. Good defending from uh, Risa. Just kind of do something, right? If you have, like, Drogba there, by the way, that's where you would, like, tap L1 and then do exactly what I just did that ball into the box i want to be careful obviously of these crosses let's take them on press defend that i like this player this player is so like very different to what you would normally play and fun. sometimes the little little battles are, are good ah turn back into trouble there silly uh i'm gonna be aggressive on that yeah mm, i don't want to be dribbling with uh lewandowski there not exactly his strength. That's a terrible touch. I get the free kick. Wow. That's just a, a bad, bad touch. Uh, Lewandowski's probably my best free kick taker, right? Uh, I'm actually going to go Griezmann. And I'm going to try and go to this keeper's side here. Now, he hasn't moved the keeper, so I don't think this will work. But three and a bit bars of power. Hopefully, Bernardo Silva moves out of the way. Oh, close, 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 close. Yeah, I'm not, not used to free kicks for them anymore. I'm being aggressive on that. Reese James has stepped up. Ah, He's going to cross it, right? I've got to try and be aggressive on these crosses. No, he just gets there. Wow, wow. We could have just passed it to the back post. That was actually a really good drive. We've got a lot of room out on that left-hand side. By that James came and made that run. Little dummy. No, just do that then. Okay, that'll do. Uh, I shouldn't trust Balde's passing. I spoke about this in the last episode about playing to your players' strengths. And, you know, say, for example, you know when I said I didn't want to dribble with Lewandowski? Because that's not a strength of his. I shouldn't play that pass. I should go bottom of the screen here because Reese James obviously has made a run. Uh, he's given up all that space in behind. Saliba comes across, though, and does phenomenal. My ball? Mm, that's a really good pass. I'll cover that ball in the middle. Good second man press. R1 circle. Okay, nice. I'm actually going to stop triggering as many runners here. I feel like I need to allow him to make the mistake in defense and capitalize based on that. Me triggering so many runners actually can be counterintuitive. Look for a give and go there, though. I'll send that runner. Little touch upwards. Beautiful. Green. Oose. Beautiful. Lovely. Job play. Just using the uh, shot across goal there as being, you know, probably the most go to finish, I think, on FIFA's for the last few years. And obviously, FC24 here as well, for sure. Play that ball back. Remember, look where we're taking the touches. 
constantly away. That's Ruben Diaz. Van Persie, left footed. Just going to try and toy with him a little bit with a keeper. Yeah, that's just getting caught on it with Diaz was terrible. As I said about taking a touch, just put myself in such a sticky scenario. I probably could have just switched the ball straight out to Balde, actually. I don't think I needed to go one extra one. I support West Bromwich Albion, and sometimes we do that. It's like where the right centre-back could play the ball straight out to the left-back, but instead they decide to go one extra pass uh, into like the left centre-back, and then you actually just allow yourself to get to get pressed, really. After what happened there with myself. No, that's a terrible knockdown. Lewandowski. I don't actually think I needed to L1 square it. I think I could have just um, just drilled it with an R1X along the ground. Griezmann, look for the finesse. Deuce! Uh, Lewandowski's offside, so yeah, definitely don't want him there on that. Just going to try and draw him in here. Lewandowski step over. Little ball roll. I was hoping he'd bank and come across, and then I could ball roll on the inside. I'll go short here. Do I get that? No. Okay. Uh, just want to be mindful, obviously, of any counter attacks. This is Reese James. Reese James on the right hand side. Shouldn't actually have an extra man here, so I don't need to worry too much because Reese James should be there. But obviously, he wasn't. Held L2 there just to try and shield from Van Dyke. You can do that when you're receiving the ball. Take the switch away. Go for the give and goes. Change the tempo here. Being a little bit quicker on this attack. Trying to give him less time to think about what he can do in the defence. Oh, oh, I thought I'd get there. I thought I'd get there. 79th minute. Uh, need to come to him with Balde, but I don't need to be too aggressive here. Watch that overlap. Uh, this is bad for him. Oh, I say it's bad because Reese James was slightly out of position as well, but managed to get it. He's offside. Worth a go. Sometimes I like doing that where you trigger the run. You like detour slightly and go onto that inside with a triangle ball uh, with a driven pass and use a triangle pattern I should say really really nice sort of movement I'll bring the left forward back here to help out in defence I thought he'd step there I misread that what does he do he likes to uh, drive again attack in the space where I know I have that because James is out of position by that ball along the ground lovely uh, Lewandowski can just run, I think. Van Dyke. Just so... Oh, no! It's just so good, isn't he? That's a great ball. Was he off? No. Did move a bit of keeper there, but nothing nothing too crazy, really. This could be our first draw if I don't grab something here. He steps up by the L2 triangle to keep it away ever so slightly. In the middle, tap L1, send Lewandowski. Beautiful. That's it. And composure. Let's go. Right, let's make sure we defend this then. Um, need to be careful of any runners. He might control sprint on me as well. I imagine the game plan is probably to get us out towards the wing. We know he's like to cross. He's got two minutes of added time. I can off side trap on that. Just chill here. Nothing aggressive at all. There we go. I lay that ball back. Into the centre back. Back down to this side of the screen. And then I go all the way back to the goalkeeper. And then R1 and square. You don't want to hold just square because it'll be assisted. Meaning that it will try and find a pass. You know when you try and clear it and it's like the game constantly tries to give it to a player. And you're like, no, 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 no. That's then if you do the R1 square and you can just manually kick it out. So a uh, really good game there as well. Where I think that showcased, showcased a lot for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, big win. Let's go. Hey, well then, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have missed any of the episodes in this series, you can click up here and we'll be more than happy to help you guys out on FC24.